Hi guys, so ngayon susubukan natin sagutan itong problem na nandito. No? So it came out on Civil Engineering Board Exam on May 1994. We previously solved problems for the pressures in static fluids. No? So we will be applying that same formula dito sa problem na to. So assuming specific weight of air to be constant at 12 newton per cubic meter, what is the approximate height of Mount Banahaw If a mercury barometer at the base of the mountain reads 654 millimeter, and at the same time, another barometer at the top of the mountain reads 480 millimeter, so ito yung ating mountain. Our specific weight is constant at 12 newton per cubic meter, no? and then uh, ang ating barometer reading, okay, mercury barometer reading at the top of our mountain is 480 millimeter. And at the bottom, sorry, this is bottom. And at the bottom, our reading is 654 millimeter. So, ang required sa atin is to find the height of the mountain. Okay, so we learned from our previous lecture that pressure is equal to the density of the fluid, the acceleration to the gravity, and the pressure head. And then we learned that the difference In pressure between P2 and P1 is equal to the specific weight times the uh, uh, pressure head. No? And applying that to this problem here, we could write this at the pressure at the bottom minus the pressure at the top is equal to the specific weight times the height of the mountain. So that required the height of the mountain, we could write this as H is equal to Pressure at the bottom minus pressure at the top over the specific weight. Okay, so from this given here, alam natin yung pressure head at the bottom and the pressure head at the top. So, we can use that by substituting itong formula ng ating pressure here dito sa ating given. No? So, let us do that. H is equal to... Unahin natin yung pressure at the bottom. Okay, so the fluid that we use is mercury because we have a mercury barometer in here. So, ang specific gravity ng ating mercury is 13.6. Then, we'll multiply that to the density of water, 1,000 kg per cubic meter. Times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81 meter per second squared. And then, ang ating pressure head at the bottom, which is 654 millimeter. But then, we have to convert this into meter. So, we have 1,000 millimeter is equal to 1 meter. So, ano bang magiging unit natin dito, guys? So, our unit here will be kilogram meter per second squared which is equal to newton and then this will be cancelled out so meter at the numerator and cubic meter and denominator so our unit will be newton per meter squared okay so we have to take note of that okay so now we will subtract this to the pressure at the top so we have minus the pressure at the top is also measured by mercury Barometer. So, the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 times the density of water times the acceleration due to gravity times the pressure head which is 480 millimeter. Then convert this to meter. Okay, so pareho tayo ng unit dyan, no? And then, we will divide all of this to our specific weight, which is 12 newton per cubic meter. So, if you remember, ang unit natin sa numerator is newton per meter square. Therefore, ang unit ng ating magiging answer is in meters, no? So, we have H is equal to 13.6 times 1,000, times 9.81, times 654, divided by 1,000, 
is equal to 87,254 minus 13.6 times 1,000 times 9.81 times 480 divided by 1,000 is equal to 64,039.68 divided by 12. So finally, our H is equal to 1,934.53 meters. So this is our final answer for this question. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day!